The Ultra Sabers V2 hilts are some of the most basic and most affordable hilts that Ultra Sabers sells. So all of these V2 hilts are the smallest hilts in diameter. They're 1.25 inches in diameter. And the pommels are removable, but they're not MHS compatible. So that means you can't use the other Ultra Sabers pommels with these or the Custom Saber Shop pommels with these. The diameter, it's just simply too small. There is a specific V2 coupler that you can use to join any of these sabers together. So you can look for that in the accessories section. And you can also purchase the Initiate V2s as double bladed lightsabers. So if you go to kind of the double bladed lightsaber section, you can either order the light side hilt, the Phantasm Initiate V2, or the dark side hilt is called the Phantom Initiate V2. And one of the perks of ordering a double bladed saber is you basically get the coupler for free. So if you're looking to get two of the Initiate or Dark Initiate sabers, I recommend checking them out in the double bladed section and you can even get two different colors so I could get one that's red and one that's blue like this and then the coupler is included with it so yeah that's just a fun little tip for the double bladed sabers so yep the other thing about these sabers is these initiate v2s these are the shortest hilts that Ultra Sabers sells. They're 8.75 inches long. And when you combine that with the um, narrower diameter, that makes these sabers a really good one-handed saber. And they're also great for kids. So kids can kind of handle these a lot better than some of the longer sabers and the wider diameter sabers. So you have the kind of initiate sabers like these over here, initiate and dark initiate, and then you have the Dominix and the Aeon sabers, which are essentially the same as these initiates, they're just a bit longer, as you can see. And the Dominix V2 and the Aeon V2 are each 12 inches long, so for adults it's kind of nicer, they're more of a two-handed saber. Let's see, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. Uh, final thought about these is Ultra Sabers only sells these V2 hilts as either stunt sabers or empty hilts, and that goes for all of their V2 hilt models. And that's because it's a smaller diameter, and so it's, it can't really accommodate you know all that sound stuff in there. So that's why they do that. Um, yeah, so that's really main stuff you should know. Feel free to add more in the comments section, but there's some nice perks about these sabers. They're kind of uh, very affordable sabers, some of the most budget-friendly sabers that Ultra Saber sells. And the design of the hilt, though, is also a little bit basic, and it is kind of a downside that they're not MHS compatible, so that limits the different ways that you could customize the pommels. You'd have to basically do that on your own somehow rather than you know get another pommel from Ultra Sabers or the Custom Saber Shop. So anyway, that's just kind of the current thoughts on the Ultra Sabers V2 hilts. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think.